So I came across this video of Paula Badosa hitting serves, and I just want to show you the problems that can occur with a toss that is as high as hers. And I'm actually going to maybe unfairly put her against one of the best servers of all time, Roger Federer. And it's actually pretty cool that these two videos were actually taken <laughs> both at Indian Wells. So you can see court number one in the background. So let's first compare the height of the toss. And I want to show you a couple things that actually stem from that when it comes to the differences in their technique. So let's get this. You can see it's actually blending in with the previous shots there uh, that were edited together. So there's the top of her head and there's the ball at the top of his head. What I like to do is take the videos and get them to the top of the head where the ball is at the top of the head. And that just kind of, you know, syncs them up here. So I'm going to sync the videos up now. And you can see that they are synced up. And I'm going to set a timer. And we're going to see how long it takes for them to hit the ball. And before I show you those numbers, don't forget, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play against, practice with, or even find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your serve, simply use my link in the description, playercourt.com slash two minute tennis. And when you use my link, you get 50% off when you join. So here is Fetter already getting to the ball. So he's at 0.83 seconds. Bedosa has not even hit the birthday hat yet. So we're going to keep going here. We're going to see how long it takes for her to hit the ball. So she's at 0.123 seconds. So it's roughly 50% longer that her ball is in the air. Uh, and so I, what I want to do is I want to show you a big difference in their motions. The first thing I want to show you is fetters. I want you to notice that his elbow comes forward. So look at his elbow come forward while his racket is going backward. So you could say that his elbow is moving the opposite direction compared to his racket. And his elbow is beginning coming forward before he ever hits the birthday hat. Remember, if Fetter were wearing a birthday hat, he would knock the birthday hat off his head. His racket comes in over his head. His racket's not coming behind his head. It's very easy to see that his racket is coming over his head. So his elbow's coming forward as the racket's going back. I want you to watch Bedosa. Watch her racket. As her racket goes back, so does her elbow. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't this cool? As her racket's going back, her elbow is going back. She cannot fire the elbow. Remember, the throwing motion is the elbow coming forward. It's in your best interest to move the elbow forward as the racket's going back. That really and efficiently accelerates the racket. And it maximizes your serve speed. It maximizes how easy it is on the body. When her racket is going back, she can't fire the elbow because there's no ball yet. So she's waiting, she's waiting, she's waiting, she's waiting. And then finally she can go. But there's a heck of a lot more strain on her arm doing it this way than doing it the way Federer is doing it. Now, another difference is let's get their rackets in the same place. Uh, right, we'll go right. Th uh, we'll go right there. So let me uh, let, let me see. There we go. They're both in a very similar place. Right. Look where Federer's hand is. His hand is higher than head level. I mean, that's very easy to see. His hand is higher than his head. There's a straight across line from his head. Look at Bedosa's hand. This is her hand right there. Watch her hand drop to that point. So her tossing arm isn't staying up as long. It can't. Like, it can only stay up for so long. And because her toss is that high, it, it her, her tossing arm is like, look, I stayed up as long as I could. I've got to drop it down now. And it now is, it's down too early. She loses one of the big effects of that tossing arm, which is, to drop at the right time and then tuck in against the body. Watch Fetter, it drops it down and then brings in against the body. That's a reactive break. It slows the body down and helps accelerate the racket. Plus, because Fetter's ball is not dropping that far, 
it's much easier to time, right? Windy days, sunny days, you know, uh, in, in, you know, consistency of just hitting. Sorry, had a bit of, of a malfunction there on my device. Um, but it's going to cause inconsistency with the height of that toss. So, I mean, I, I understand that she's a world class player and just phenomenal. And I, I made a video talking about how people should be copying her forehand because her forehand is just awesome and it's easy to copy for recreational players. But when it comes to, you know, if, if I were to help her with her serve, the very first thing I would do would be lower her toss. Because with a toss that high, it isn't just the inconsistency of a ball that is, you know, dropping at such a rate, 9.8 meters per second per second, and just causing erratic, you know, tosses and, and timing issues. And, and look, Steffi Graf had a super high toss. But just because there's an exception to the rule doesn't mean that the, that the rule doesn't exist. Players with higher tosses typically have more trouble with their serve. And if not at the moment, in the future. And, and so it's just, it's astounding to me when you look at the difference between Federer's serve and you look at Pedosa's serve, Federer's already hit the ball. And this is a real issue here with Federer's elbow coming forward as his racket is going back in over his head. This is what you should look like. You should have, as your racket's knocking off the birthday hat, you can't just make sure that you hit the birthday hat. You want to make sure that your elbow is coming forward and up while, you can see they're, they're switching positions. I'll draw a straight line here from the racket to this part and then the racket to this part. So look how everything's switching. The elbow is going the opposite direction of the racket, where with Bedosa, she can't. And so it, it, when your elbow comes forward as your racket's coming in over your head, it maximizes the efficiency and how easy it is to gain acceleration. There's just no stress on the body whatsoever. And he then, when he's knocking off the birthday hat, his hand is still above his head. His hand, or uh, above his head, his hand is always above his racket. Look at this. His hand is always above his racket. There's the racket. Here's his hand. There's the racket. And I'm even doing the top of the racket to try to help. There's his hand. There's the racket. <laughs> I'll do the top of the throat. And there's his hand. His hand is always higher than the racket in the motion. Her hand is always lower than a racket in the motion because it just can't stay up long enough. So this is, this is an issue. And so if her coaches are watching, um, please lower her toss. And, and Paula, if you see this, please, in the off season, work on lowering your toss. I don't want you to have issues in the future with shoulder problems. I don't want you to have issues with consistency problems. So if you are, um, working on your serve, and I'm not talking to Bedos right now, I'm talking to everyone watching this. If you're working on your serve, work on having a lower toss. Just because this issue with her racket and elbow, this is not a technique issue, this is a timing issue. She is trying to waste time. She cannot fire the elbow now. It, it's not time to. So she's delaying. Her elbow's like looking for something to do. So she's like, well, I'll just wait to go back until the very end. But she's not maximizing her serve speed. She's not maximizing her consistency. And she's certainly not maximizing the efficiency and the ease on her body now and in the future. So if you're working on your serve, film it and check to see that you have a low enough toss that your technique can be right. And if you do, there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. Paula, you got this.